Good morning. I'm gonna push this car back a little bit. I think it's a little too far in. <laughs> it's the nice thing about a manual. Just move it without turning the car on. What is happening, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video with your boy, Thick F30. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful morning. I just got my coffee. I didn't bring you along with me today. I just figured, you know what? We're gonna skip the whole coffee routine and just get right into the video. So when I retrofitted my M4 seats into my car, they came with the old style badges, which are these silver ones. Pretty much everyone knows these are prone to cracking. So mine are both cracked. They just break over time. BMW actually covers these if you have an M4 or M3. They came with these seats. BMW covers those under warranty. The upgraded version is a black version. So these actually do, they are supposed to illuminate. But out of everything in the seats and with the retrofit, everything functions like the heat, all the electronics, everything works except for the light. The illuminated seat badge is the only thing that doesn't work with this retrofit. And I talked to someone else who did a four series with M4 seats and he had the same issue. So his didn't light up either. So rather than using the cracked old ones, Keys Motorsports sent me out new ones that are, oof, they look so good. So these are OEM BMW. I'm gonna show you guys what they look like, but they're, they're M2 badges that light up and they're all black. I'm sure you guys have seen them before in the M3s and M4s but they look amazing. They're gonna look 10 times better than these booty cracked silver ones that I have in the car right now. I don't really know what we're getting into. Um, this is gonna be a little bit of a trial and error. I don't know if this is gonna be easy, if it's going to be difficult. So to show you guys what we have here. So here is how it comes in the box. Obviously has the uh, protective layer on it right now, but dude, it looks so good. And this lights up. So the ones I have in there now, they are supposed to light up, but they don't. Um, probably just because this isn't an M4 and the car is probably like, what in the heck is going on? So I'm sure there is a way for you guys to like code these in or like figure out how to get them to work just by plug and play. Um, hey, editor John here. All right, so I'm in the middle of editing this video and I just wanna let you guys know that we decided to go a different route with the way that I'm wiring these up. Originally, I was going to hardwire them into the footwell module lights but I've decided to keep it as OE as possible. So I ended up retrofitting these using the stock plug that came on the M4 badges. You guys will see that in this video. But my plan in the future is to have these coded into the car. So just to let you know, they do not illuminate in this video. This is just me installing them. I wanted to jump in here and let you guys know this because I kind of started this video with the intention of hardwiring them into the footwell lights, but then we changed paths like halfway through and I realized it was gonna be way more work than it needed to be. And I think the best route to go is try and have them coded into the car to get them to light up. So I just wanted to drop you guys that note um, back to yesterday, John. Piece. Cool thing is this will be like the final piece to the complete retrofit of these M4 seats with the M2 badge into my car. This is like the last piece I was waiting on. When it comes to actually removing the old badges, it's pretty simple. You're just gonna roll, there's like a little lip back here and you just literally roll this out and you can peel off the leather and then you have access to the back. You can also kind of get back in between here if you stick your fingers in there. And there's two little clips, you can see them on this badge. By pressing in these two little clips, that's what's gonna release the badge from the seat. So you can see right there. So that is part one of what we're doing today. And then also Impulse Designs sent out my new floating center caps. So the difference with these obviously is they're black all the way around. Just to give you guys an idea of how it looks. It's very, very subtle, but it makes a big difference. See the lip, silver on these, and um, these ones are just kind of murdered out. They just look a lot cleaner, dude, a lot better. So these are OEM, they're just airbrushed, all black, and then they have a clear coat over them. I got these ones just to match everything else that I have on the car. I have the same thing going on on my front badge and the back badge. So I wanted to get these from Impulse Designs just so everything would match. If you guys are interested in a set of these or any of these custom badges, and he can customize these any way you want. He can get rid of the blue, he can do all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, hit him up, I'll leave his Instagram down below. Go ahead and DM them and they will, uh, they'll work with you on a new set. Brian from Keys Motorsports also did a really good video showing you guys how to remove the badges on these seats. I That's how I learned. I'm gonna leave his video link down below so you guys can check it out. Um, let's get into it. All right, we're gonna move this all the way up. So we wanna get back here um, and we're just gonna start working this leather out. And you'll feel it, there's like a little, 
There's like a little lip in there. So just to give you guys an idea of what we're working with. So you can see the plastic little lip. This is what tucks behind this metal right here. And then you peel it back and you can see your badge. The back of the badge is right there and then obviously cabling. I think I'm gonna use the factory plug and the factory wiring. And then I'm gonna have my guys code it in. Code in the actual lighting. Rather than trying to run cables underneath and splice them into things, I just feel better about using the OEM harness and trying to make that work with the car. The worst case scenario would be that we don't get the illumination and to be entirely honest with you, it doesn't really bother me that much. For some people that will really bother them, but for me personally, I, do, I don't care a whole lot about it lighting up. I just want it to have the M2 and I want a clean badge on it. So the people that coded these seats into my car and made them functional, it's called Beamer Brain. And I'll leave a link down to their Instagram down below and you can contact them if you do some kind of retrofit like this, or if you just need like some wild coding in your car that you can't figure out, those guys are experts. So obviously you will have to pay for the service. It's not free, but if you guys need some expert coding, um, they're awesome. So they actually made these seats work with this car without any errors or anything on the dash. I'm willing to bet that they could probably figure out how to get the illumination to work. So what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna go, we're just gonna plug them in. So for this video, I'm pulling an audible. Um, that's the call that I'm gonna go with. And I think that makes the most sense. I'm most happy with that setup too. And it's less work. <laughs> So, uh, but this is really easy to get this off. Like I said, it's just this thick plastic that tucks behind here. And then we're gonna go ahead and reach our fingers in here and try and get that clip out. You guys can kind of see it popping out right there. There we go. Oh yeah, it's easier to do it from the back. There's like a little hole in there. There we go. Comes right out. And now I'm gonna follow this cable to where it plugs in. It's gonna be hard to show because it's really, really deep in there. So the only difference is this part is a lot shorter on the new ones. And on the old ones, there's a lot more wire to play with. I don't know if that's gonna be a problem. So, here we go. And look at how freaking cracked up this thing is, dude. I don't know if you guys can see it. Basically the whole perimeter is cracked. Inside is all cracked. So you can see here, that might pose an issue for us. This has this super long cable on it, this doesn't. So, I think what we're gonna have to do, the wires and everything seem to be the same. You have a ground and you have a yellow. It's just the connector that's different. So I think we're gonna actually, we're gonna cut this, this old badge and then cut this and we're gonna put this wire onto this badge so we can go ahead and use all of this in here and then um, hopefully we can code it down the road and make it work. I knew this one would be kind of a, a toss up. I wasn't sure how this was gonna come out, so bear with me as we just try shit out. <laughs> Cause that's literally what's going on right now. We're just trying shit out. So I wanna use, I'm never gonna use these again so we can just cut it at the top. Cause this one's, these are trash. Cut it right there. The reason, again, that we're doing this is this is too short. It won't reach the actual plug. And the plugs are different. So this wouldn't even this one wouldn't plug into the factory M4 seat. So you're gonna have to uh, you're gonna have to cut this, splice it into this one, and use that plug. That's gonna be the only way to do it. And then hopefully, hopefully, um, I can get them coated and they work, and life is just great after that. Got our wires exposed. So for this side, we're going to chop the plug off, like so, and then we'll expose a little more cable here. So, obviously, yellow to yellow, brown to brown. Well, I don't have any connectors with me, and uh, so if you get triggered easily, <laughs> then don't watch this part. So we're gonna splice them together like this 
and then I'm gonna use electrical tape around each one, and then I'm gonna cover the entire thing with more electrical tape, and we should be okay. That should be plenty fine, just like that. So, that should be fine. No issues with that. And then we can use our factory plug, plug this back in the seat, and we'll be good. Let's go ahead and put it in. These are so booty. So clean, super clean. I'm hyped, I'm hyped on the new badges. I think they look really good. Plus, just matches the interior, everything's black. So the best way to explain that when you're putting it back in, you literally have to roll the plastic lip. Just keep rolling it all the way around. Even if you roll it like before you tuck it into that little metal lip, um, it's just as easy. So just roll it. Just remember you have to roll it. You're not gonna be able to like stretch it and push it in. You have to roll it and then push it in. Ooh, crispy. Look at that crispy badge, man. So you can see the difference. Looks way better. The black looks 10 times better. And it says M2. So those are original OEM for the M2 competition. They just say M2, so that's why you get them. So all we have to do now, um, well, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side, but what we have to do now is I'm gonna reach out to my guys and see if I can get them to code it. And then we'll be able to have the illumination feature but I'll do that at a later time. And that's really like the final piece to this retrofit, like the whole putting these seats in the car was getting the new badges that say M2. If you didn't know a lot about BMWs and you just saw this car with these seats in it, you would just assume that this car came with these seats, 100%. I mean, obviously, if you know your stuff, um, you know an OG M2 doesn't come with these, but to the average person, they'd have no idea. I'm gonna go ahead and hop over and do the, uh, driver's side, and I'll put you guys on a time lapse. It's gonna be the same, same process. Dang, they look good. All right, so like I was saying, now I'm gonna reach out to my guys over at Beamer Brain and uh, ask them if they can code these in to get them to function with the seats. Um, like I said before, if not, it's not the end of the world. I just like the black ones way better than the cracked silver ones. So either way, this is a win for me. But dude, these look really good. Super, super happy with that setup. They just look like they belong in the car, to be honest with you. Like that's really how this car should have came. All right, man. Next up, let's put these bad boys on. I'm just gonna take a uh, little pick tool here. Hey, look at that. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so here is the original one. So you can see the difference. These look way better. Super subtle difference. Nothing absolutely crazy, but it's those little details, you guys. Little details that I really care about. Yes, sir. See, I love how it just flows in with all the black. Like, it's just cleaner. It's the only way to put it. It's just a cleaner look. Just to show you guys the quality of these, man, like these are OEM and he just airbrushes them and then clear coats them and they look really good. And mine look great. <laughs> I love those things, dude. Everyone notices them in photos. It's just funny because like they're always upright, you know, doesn't matter how you look at them, they're always upright. 
Dang, these look good, dude. These look good. I'm stoked. I'm stoked. It's just the little details. Just little details. But look at how much cleaner they are. They just like mesh in with the whole wheel. Dun, 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 dun. Now you guys don't have to get the black ones like me, like how they're all blacked out. You don't have to do that. Um, you can also buy just the OEM ones like I had before. And the uh, link for those is down below. Or you can just buy them through Impulse Designs and get them blacked out like mine. I think those look so good. And now they match all my other badges. So these badges, like most people don't even recognize it, but the people who do, it's like they do a double take. They're like, wait, something's different about that. <laughs> it's like, you don't notice it right off the bat, but it's just such a subtle, it's just such a subtle change. Just a slight change. And for some people that may not be worth it, but for me, I really like to pay attention to those kind of little details. Um, that's important to me. So I just think that's what separates my car from other people's cars. It's those minor, minor details. with everything you guys like I said before everything's gonna be linked down below hit up impulse designs if you want the the roundels custom roundels and if you guys want to get these seat badges they are OEM BMW but I sourced mine through keys motorsports I'll have a link to those down below as well I'm gonna reach out to my coding guys see what we can do about the seats hopefully they can code them in make them illuminate that'd be dope if not not the end of the world they look they look so much better just like looking at the car right now through the windshield so much better than those cracked silver ones I was not a fan of those and they say M2, so they just look like they belong in the car. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this Saturday morning and watching this video. Please do subscribe, comment down below, like this video, hit that bell notification, and just like that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.